the difference between a house and a home? Well, that's a question I often ask my mother. The answer I would get is, a home is where the family is together. But is it really that simple? Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of The Vastu Show. I'm your host, Suesha. Joining me as always is our Vastu expert, Prasesha. The focus on the show today is about bridging the gap between a house and a home by making small Vastu corrections. And Rasesh is going to do that by auditing this beautiful property in Mumbai. Rasesh, what do you think about this house? Suisha, it is indeed a very nice house. Uh, one from a Vastu perspective. And secondly, do you know there is something in this house uh, which makes this house even more interesting. What is that? There's a terrace. Ah, okay. So there's a terrace attached to the house. Bombay mein the terrace flat hona exactly. itself is a dream come true, isn't and it? And also we'll get a good perspective uh, on the terrace as per Vastu. So that's right. one new take we'll get on the show. Yes. Starting with the living room, what do you first have to say about the entry door? Swisha, the entry door is very well placed from a Vastu perspective. It is facing the east. Hmm. East being one of the most powerful directions. Uh, this house has a very positive energy. Hmm. Uh, when you enter this living room, hmm. you, can, you can actually feel those positive vibes. There is a slight issue uh, with the movement of energy that's happening. Energy that's coming in uh, into the living room is escaping out from this window here, which is in the line of the door. But Rasesh, to my understanding, if the entry door is a balcony door, then it will energy escape. Is this the case in the windows? No, it is also in the windows. Because okay. energy travels via light and air. Hmm. So, the urja is this uh, living room mein aa rahi hai, wo urja window ke madhyam se ya window ke dwara bahar escape ho rahi hmm. agar window ke bahar ek tulsi ka paudha lagaya jaye hmm. swesha ya hmm. is curtain ko hamesha thoda band karke rakhe hmm. okay which i think is not a practical solution hmm. uh, uh, keeping a tulsi pot uh, is a practical solution iske do fayde honge ek to tulsi pot will act as an insulator hmm. yahan se jo energy bahar ke aur चली जा रही थी वो तुलसी रोक देगा और तुलसी की अपनी पॉजिटिव एनर्जी होती है जो इस घर को प्राप्त होगी अब यहां पर ये बीम जो है ऑल्दो इसके नीचे कुछ फर्नीचर नहीं प्लेस किया हुआ है बट इज दिस हार्मफुल ये जो बीम देख रही है बीम को कवर किया गया है इसे वुड से कवर किया गया है तो ये जो वुड है ये बीम के स्पैन से बड़ा है अगर आप ठीक देखें देयर इज एन एक्सेस area which is protruding from both the sides. Right. So this this acts again as a very good insulator hmm. in terms of the negative energy of the beam. Yes. Yes. So negative energy niche ki taraf flow ho rahi thi. Wo, wo ye particular uh, design element hmm. uh, usse nullify karta hai. What do you have to say about the furniture? Is it placed correctly? Swisha, more or less yes, but there is a small uh, correction that they could do. This particular sofa on this wall. Hmm. Uh, okay, can be shifted on the opposite wall. All right. Okay, and that would make this living room even more stronger from a Vastu perspective. This is the north. This particular wall is the north. Right. So from the north wall, if this sofa is shifted on the south wall, hmm. so that when the family sits in they the living face room, face the north. Yes. Hmm. Uh, so that would make it, you know, even more powerful. And otherwise also, I think the colors they've used are very neutral. Very neutral, So that yes. is great from the perspective of Vastu. Absolutely. You know, Swisha, there is one particular parameter in this house from a Vastu perspective which makes the travel corner very strong. Which is? Uh, there is an extension in the west of northwest. Uh -huh. There is an extension in the north of northwest, and, which is the direction of travel. And, and that has benefited the sun. Yes, and I've always said that any kind of protrusion, extension, projection hmm. in the northwest corner Okay, makes the house travel prone. Hmm. So the sun, you know, has gone out to study. This is one of the uh, reasons, you hmm. know, why he's gone out to study. Also, he's been using the northeast room, which okay. is again very powerful. Hmm. Uh, you know, if someone wants to, uh, if a student, especially someone who is studying, uh, uses the northeast quadrant, hmm. uh, so it's very And where are we going next, Rasesh? Swisha, let's head to the master bedroom. All right. Swisha, 
This is the southwest master bedroom. It is vast to compliance in at. every which way. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, the direction is southwest. The bed is on the south wall. Hmm. There is a lot of wood which has been used. So again, that's a very positive uh, thing from a vast to perspective. Also, Swisha, there's a small study table uh, on the north wall, hmm. which is again very positive. Uh, there's a slight hiccup okay. uh, from a Vastu perspective, and that's the bathroom door, which is coming in the line of, of the, the bed. bed. So, you know, there's a very simple way of correcting it. But Rasesh, they have a dehlis outside the bathroom. So, does the, doesn't that separate the bathroom from the bedroom? It separates. There is a segregation, there is a line of segregation, but the door is cutting the bed. Okay. Uh, this is wooden 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 granite. Wooden hai. Bathroom mein agar wooden dehlis banayenge aur high quality teak wood use nahi karenge, to lakda kharaab ho hmm. That is one of the reasons why they use this granite threshold. But is that fine? Um, no, no, no. Granite threshold has to be replaced. Hmm. You know, they can, they can put a Burma teak wood threshold hmm. or a marble threshold here. They've also used marble on the top of their study table. Is that fine? Bohati acha is Okay. That's very good. Hmm. That's that's indeed very good. That's great, Rasesh. Where are we heading next? Swisha, now I will show you the kitchen and from the kitchen I will take you to the most beautiful part of the house. The terrace. Yes. Let's go, Rasesh. Rasesh, the good thing about the kitchen is it's huge, it's long, it's airy. Uh, the best part is that it's attached to this terrace. Swisha, I would give 100% marks to this kitchen. Uh, it is very rare, you know, in a city like Mumbai to have a kitchen which is right from a Vastu perspective. Hmm. The kitchen is exactly in the east or southeast quadrant. Okay. Agni Kone mein hai. Hmm. On top of that, the store that you see is also in the east or southeast quadrant. Hmm. Hmm. So, this is a very good thing. Uh, there is a window there which acts as a natural ventilation. So, you don't have to put a chimney on the chimney because the ventilation is also happening. The sink? Uh, the sink is uh, slightly problematic, but this is fine. This can be very easily corrected. Hmm. You know, as long as the fire corner hmm. uh, is balanced hmm. uh, and the kitchen is in the right location, hmm. sink is not a problem. Is the dining table right as per Vastu? Yes, Swisha, the table is rectangular, which is again very good. There is no beam that I see, uh, you know, running uh, over the table. But the beauty of this house, as I was saying, is the terrace. Yeah. Swisha, half portion of the terrace is right from a Vastu perspective. Hmm. The other half is, is, not right. is negative. Why is this half right and that half Swisha, is not the right? the half portion that you see here is in the south or southeast corner. Hmm. Uh, there is also a roof that you see. Hmm. So this portion, south of southeast uh, quadrant, is kind of half covered and it is half open. Hmm. But because it falls in the eastern quadrant, technically from a Vastu perspective, this is right. There is a slight correction that they need to do on the roof because the roof is slanting towards the south, hmm. which is wrong hmm. uh, because there will be a reversal in the flow of cosmic energy because hmm. of the wrong slant in the roof. Secondly, uh, the terrace is extending in the south of southwest corner. Now, that is uh, a major violation from a Vastu perspective that needs to be corrected. Uh, we need to incorporate certain cosmic symbols to, you know, segregate uh, rather to energetically cut that that southwest projection of the terrace from the house. And if they place a divide, a wooden divide or something like that between the two parts of the terrace, will that work? It will not work, Swesha. It hmm. will not work. A proper vastu correction hmm. or a non-destructive remedy has to be incorporated because this is a major violation. Alright, Asesh, thank you so much for showing this uh, house to us and auditing it, most of all. Welcome, Swisha. So that is time for us to take a short break, but don't go anywhere. On the other side of the break, Rasesh and I will talk about Vastu solutions for the Northern and the Southern Hemisphere, so stay tuned. If you're doing Vastu for Southern Hemisphere, the, the corrections, uh, the symbols, they also change. Hmm. You know, sometimes you have to use materials which is locally sourced. Pulls apart. How often do we use this expression without delving into its physical manifestation? And well, how apart can two poles really be? 
as a part is the North Pole and the South Pole. Which brings us into the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Well, not many people know, but Vasu solutions in the two hemispheres can be completely opposite, which is what we are going to discuss in this segment. Now, Rasesh, you always keep saying that Vasu solution in this part of the hemisphere. Vasu solution differs for this part of the hemisphere. Uska kya matlab hota exactly? Uh, Swesha, if one looks into the science and tries to understand the intricacies of the science, one realizes that there are energy implications that have to be understood. Uh, it has been very clearly stated that Vastu keeps on changing from place to place. Mm. Uh, you know, the longitude and the latitude of the place needs to be taken into account. Mm. Not only that, the energy radiations are very different, Suesha, above the equator and below the equator. Suesha, let me give you an example. Countries which are below the equator, for example, if you uh, East Africa, mein, some parts of East Africa, you know, like Nairobi uh, is below the equator, if you go New Zealand, mein jai, South Africa, mein jai, uh, Australia, mein jai, ye sab countries below the equator. Hai. So, countries which are below the equator, for example, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, some parts of East Africa, they fall in the Southern Hemisphere. Countries which are above the equator, okay, India, UK, uh, then, uh, you know, places like Dubai. Now, these are the places which are above the equator, uh, they fall in the uh, Northern Hemisphere. Here, the Vastu principles are very different. Can you give me an example of how it differs? Right, Swisha. Uh, East and West remain constant. North and South, uh, they get reversed. Hmm. So, Northeast in the Northern Hemisphere becomes uh, Southeast in the Southern Hemisphere. Okay. For example, I will, I will break it, Swisha. If you are in the Northern Hemisphere, in the Ishan Kone, in the Mandir, Ki karte hai, or if you create a sacred corner in the east of northeast in the northern hemisphere, you will do the same uh, in the east of southeast in the southern hemisphere. So, if you have in India, if you have a northeast, then in the New Zealand, you have a mandir southeast. East southeast. So, if you have a refute that the fire corner is not going to be in the fire corner. Correct. What is the principle behind this? The principle is that because there is a reversal in the flow of energy of the magnetic field. Alright. Okay, so the magnetic field ki jo energy is reversed. Hmm. East West is hmm. constant. So, in the northern hemisphere, the northeast is the southern hemisphere. Mein southeast ho jayega. All right. Uh, aap northern hemisphere mein north uh, direction mein sar rakke kabhi bhi nahi sote hain. Hmm. Lekin agar aap southern hemisphere mein jayenge to aap north baju sar rakke hi soenge. There are so many vastu experts and practitioners who don't understand the implications of the change hmm. uh, in the energy radiations and they follow the same principles even in the southern hemisphere which could be very disastrous. How disastrous could the implications be? Yes, so if somebody is sleeping, you know, with the head towards the south in the southern hemisphere, hmm. uh, he could have serious health issues. Uh, if somebody has a bathroom in the southeast, in the southern hemisphere, again, you know, he could have a lot of issues with relationship, with um, litigations, legal issues, uh, he could have financial problems. If somebody has a kitchen, uh, you know, made in the northwest, hmm. in the southern hemisphere, because hmm. that is considered to be the second best alternative location in the northern hemisphere. But if there is New Zealand, in hmm. Australia, in the northwest, there is a kitchen in the northwest. So, that kitchen will result in the southwest. So, there will be hmm. relationship disturbances. Hon. So, like you said, that the east and west remains constant. It's the north and south that changes. Can you list down examples of how the north and south changes? Swisha, north and south does not change. It's the energy radiations that change. Okay. Uh, so, here, uh, Swisha, what we'll do is we'll break it down. Uh, you know, room-wise, uh, if we look at the Northern Hemisphere and if we want to make a sacred corner in the Northern Hemisphere for the countries which are above the equator, okay, uh, we will uh, make the sacred corner in the east of Northeast. Okay. We'll place a temple in the east of Northeast. We'll make a kitchen in the east of Southeast, which is a fire corner. 
will make a master bedroom in the west of southwest or south of southwest jise mm. nairutya kona kehte mm. in the northern hemisphere now if we go below the equator mm. the temple uh, will be placed in the east of southeast okay the sacred corner will be created in the east or southeast master bedroom will be constructed in the west of northwest hmm. and not in the south of southwest hmm. in the southern hemisphere so like aap hamesha bolte hain ki north east ko yahan par clutter free rakhna chahiye um, it is the most important corner ishan kona jise aap kehte hain ye kaise change ho jata hai southern hemisphere ye southern hemisphere mein agni kona jo hai wo ishan kone ka result deta hai swesh okay so in the southern hemisphere अग्नि uh, कोने को क्लटर फ्री रखना है ओके। okay. अग्नि uh, कोने में ये ध्यान रखना है कि कोई भी स्ट्रक्चरल वायलेशन ना हो अग्नि कोने को uh, रेज नहीं होने देना है hmm. क्योंकि वो नॉर्थ ईस्ट का रिजल्ट देगा सदर्न hmm. हेमस्फियर uh, में नॉर्थ वेस्ट विल बी द हाईएस्ट पॉइंट एंड साउथ ईस्ट विल बी द लोएस्ट पॉइंट यू नो बिकॉज देर इज अ रिवर्सल इन दी एनर्जी ऑफ द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड these are the things that have to be taken into consideration so jaise aap yahan par bolte hain ki north is the direction of finance mm-hmm. southern hemisphere mein south becomes the direction of finance very correct hmm. south becomes the direction of finance uh and north uh in the southern hemisphere okay will start acquiring properties of south hmm. so north will also be used as an alternative location to uh, have kitchen Uh, north will also be used in the southern hemisphere as an alternative location to have uh, you know if if it's a office one can have a pantry there mm. one can also have a server room there mm. uh, you can also have generators you can also have transformers substations uh, being uh, placed in the north and where will the safe be placed in the southern hemisphere uh, northwest all right because so, southwest becomes northwest hmm. so in fact you will be amazed to know that even in india you know there are some places where different laws apply hmm. you know while one is doing vastu let me give you an example of kerala hmm. in kerala there are mountains in the east hmm. and kerala has seen the west hmm. so uh, there also the vastu principles will change i am only giving you an example of kerala swesha if you look at old constructions in kerala and most of considering that most of the you know houses or properties were made on vastu principles surprisingly all the kitchens there are made in the northeast corner hmm because the experts during that time exactly knew what the energy implications are so if somebody is doing vastu in kashmir hmm or in the extreme northern uh, you know parts of india there one has to be extremely careful in terms of what is where uh, sea is a huge mass of energy hmm. isn't it swesha of course mountains are earth element sea is water element hmm. and they have their own energy implications hmm. um on a particular uh, space or on a particular region hmm. so one has to look into those uh, aspects also hmm. uh, unfortunately we only consider the north south east west and we only do the basic planning and we ignore uh, the much deeper aspects of energies that's very interesting research so you mean to say ki agar koi pahadon ke paas rehta hai ya koi agar coastal city mein rehta hai to unka vastu jab aap design karte hain to wo automatically aap ye cheeze dhyan mein rakhte hue design karte hain bilkul bilkul bahut hi zaruri hai swesha in fact the remedies are also different sometimes we use different materials hmm. if you're doing vastu for southern hemisphere the the corrections uh, the symbols they also change hmm. you know sometimes you have to use materials which is locally sourced hmm. because that material which is produced there naturally hmm. okay it is in sync with the energy of that place all right so sesh we'll hold you right here but that is time for us to take a short break whichever hemisphere you are in do stay tuned because in the next segment we are going to answer the questions that have been sent in by you so keep watching if you're residing in the northern hemisphere make your sacred corner in the east of northeast But if you're residing in the southern hemisphere, make it in the east of southeast. Welcome back. 
back to the Vastu show. Let's now head straight to this week's queries. Rasesh, our first question comes in from Pranali. She wants to know, is there a particular time of the year one should avoid while planting trees? Uh, Swisha, Krishna Paksh ka jo samay hota hai, jab moon uh, poonam se uh, amavasya ki aur ja raha hai. Hmm. You know, so from full moon to dark moon, hmm. tab naye podhe, naye jhaad nahi lagane chahi. Basically, jab moon, full moon se dark moon ki taraf ja raha hai, yani ki poonam se amavasya ki taraf ja raha hai, tab ट्रीज नहीं प्लांट करने चाहिए पर जब अमावस्या से पूनम की तरफ जा रहा है तब तब करने चाहिए जब चंद्र छोटा हो रहा है हाँ। मून छोटा हो रहा है तब आप प्लांट्स ट्रीज प्लांट ना करें प्लांट्स ना लगाएं आ, लेकिन जब छोटे से बड़ा हो रहा है यू नो सुशा तब आप ट्रीज प्लांट कर सकते हैं और नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कम्स इन फ्रॉम कमलेश श्री राइट टू आस आस्किंग इन एन ऑफिस वे शुड द रिसेप्शन बी पोजिशन एंड वॉट डिरेक्शन शुड द रिसेप्शन इज फेस Does this also differ in both the hemispheres? Of course. Okay. It differs, Suesha. Uh, it also depends on which direction the office is facing. Okay. Okay, because if the office is facing the north, uh, the receptionist cannot face the south. Because it will turn. Reception receptionist ki peet darwaze ke samne nahi rakh sakte hain. Hmm. So, wo depend karta hai, Suesha, ki office kaun si direction mein hai. Uh, उसके ऊपर से ये डिसाइड होगा और जहां तक हेमिस्फेयर्स की बात है वो तो चेंज हो जाएगा उल्टा हो जाएगा स्वेशा. तो इसका मतलब ये है कि ऑफिस स्पेस में भी सदन हेमिस्फेयर में वैसे ही सब कुछ चेंज हो जाएगा एब्सोल्युटली बिकॉज दी एनर्जी रिवर्सेस तो आप इसके एग्जाम्पल्स दे सकते हैं कि ऑफिस स्टाफ को सदन हेमिस्फेयर में कहाँ बैठना चाहिए कहाँ फेस करना चाहिए डायरेक्टर्स के बिन कहाँ होना चाहिए सुशा जैसे मैंने आपको बताया कि ईस्ट वेस्ट कांस्टेंट रहता है तो ऑफिस स्टाफ ईस्ट सदर्न हेमिसफेयर में फेस करेंगे तो उन्हें वो सारे रिजल्ट्स मिलेंगे जो नॉर्दर्न हेमिसफेयर में मिलते हैं लेकिन जो मास्टर चेंबर होगा वो नॉर्थ वेस्ट में होगा ना कि साउथ वेस्ट ना कि साउथ वेस्ट इन द सदर्न हेमिसफेयर जो अकाउंट्स डिपार्टमेंट होगा वो साउथ में होगा एंड दी अकाउंटेंट्स एंड दी ऑडिटर्स विल फेस द साउथ जो सर्वर रूम होगा वो ईस्ट नॉर्थ ईस्ट में होगा और पैंट्री भी अब ईस्ट नॉर्थ ईस्ट में हो सकती है ईस्ट नॉर्थ ईस्ट में हो सकती है या नॉर्थ में हो सकती है या दूसरा ऑल्टरनेटिव लोकेशन इज साउथ वेस्ट फॉर अ पैंट्री जैसे नॉर्दर्न हेमिसफेयर में नॉर्थ वेस्ट है वैसे सदर्न हेमिसफेयर में साउथ वेस्ट है अदर क्वेश्चन कम्स इन फ्रॉम श्रद्धा शी राइट वॉज आस्किंग दट शी रन अ बेकरी फ्रॉम हर होम हर किचन इज इन द नॉर्थ वेस्ट कॉर्नर ऑफ हर डू प्ले एंड अब हर किचन इज हर स्टोर रूम She wants to understand what are the basic vastu things that one should keep in mind. I think her kitchen is okay, and hmm. the storeroom is also okay. Hmm. Kitchen is not a problem at all. Okay. Uh, it is good that she's made a storeroom above her kitchen. Hmm. If she would have made a bedroom for her children, that would have uh, led to uh, you know a uh, lot of issues with their health. Kitchen ke upper agar bedroom ho to, to storeroom. I don't think in ke vastu mein kuch bhi galat hai swisha. बट यूजली किचन के ऊपर और क्या क्या बना सकते हैं बेडरूम के लिए आप मना कर रहे हैं स्टोर रूम रख सकते हैं और क्या क्या रूम स्पेस कर सकते हैं एंटरटेनमेंट रूम बना सकते हैं स्टडी रूम ना बनाएं किचन के ऊपर आप ऐसे एरिया घर के अंदर प्लान कर सकते हैं ऐसे एरियाज प्लान कर सकते हैं जो कि आप बहुत लंबे समय तक आप जिसका टाइम ना स्पेंड करें इस्तेमाल नहीं करने वाले सो यू नो You can make a home theater. You can make your play area. Hmm. Uh, study room na ho or bedroom na. All right, Rasish. Uh, I think the next question is also very similar, which has been sent in by Chintan. Now he writes in saying that if not the southeast, what is the other direction to keep the kitchen? And uh, he has a duplex, so he wants to understand if that will make a difference to the directional placement of the kitchen. No. it won't okay uh as far as the alternative direction is concerned he can have a kitchen made in the northwest quadrant mm. but here he has to be careful uh the kitchen can be in the northwest quadrant but in that quadrant mm. the fire corner will be in the east of southeast mm. and the sink will be in the east of northeast और राइट रसेश विद दैट वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ आर क्वेश्चन अगर आपके कोई भी सवाल हैं जो आप हमारे एक्सपर्ट रसेश शाह से पूछना चाहते हैं जरूर हमें लिख कर भेजिए डिटेल्स आपके स्क्रीन पर है विद दैट इज टाइम फॉर गेट द टिप ऑफ द डे फ्रॉम रसेश इफ यू रिजाइडिंग इन दॉर्दर्न हेमिसफियर मेक योर सीक्रेट कॉर्नर इन दस्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट 
But if you're residing in the southern hemisphere, make it in the east of southeast. Thank you so much, Rasesh, for clearing the misconception on the fact that the Vastu thumb rules cannot be same all across. Because I'm sure there are a lot of people who think that they know about Vastu and then they tend to exercise that everywhere. Right, Suisha. But that is time for us to wrap today's show. We hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we did in bringing it to you. Well, it's me signing off. You have a great week and keep watching Magic Pricks now. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.